Hi everyone, Paul here. Welcome back to the channel where I make how-to videos. Time to share what I've learned. I'm back with another Unreal Engine tutorial. This is a pretty simple and short video. In this video, we're going to learn how to convert skeletal mesh objects, blueprints, animation sequences into static mesh. So starting with a skeletal mesh, if I jump into my UE5 character here and open up SKM Manny Simple. So if I want to make a particular static mesh out of this on a particular pose i could tweak the bones position here like so and i could make a static mesh by clicking this button um, i'm gonna save it all in this folder as um, wave now I have a new static mesh for this particular pose. If I close this out and open it again, that pose would reset. So that's totally fine. So I have to redo it again if I want a different pose. So, but here on my level, I could grab that new static mesh with that particular pose. Now you could also do this for animation. So I have downloaded the Paragon Sun Wukong which has some interesting animations and there's a particular clip that I want like for example this one let me hide the bones again so for example this part if I want this particular shot I could make a static mesh out of it so I could say SM taunt and save And I believe I save it on this folder. Yep. Now I have that as a static mesh. So this is more performant because it's just a normal static mesh. There's no animation data on it. Um, another way that you could create a static mesh is by grouping them together. So now I have two actors here. If I select the other one by using the shift, uh, then clicking on that actor. If I click on the actor menu here, there's an option to convert actor to static mesh. So if I select that, and I create a new, say, group and save. That would create another static mesh for those two actors. So that's another way to create that. And I could select one of these actor and I could replace, right click, replace selected actor with the group. And that's one way to um, do that as well so you could do this as well for any uh, objects that you create or actors that you create so if I create some basic shapes in here like for example cube and I add a spear I can select that plus this guy and basically group them together so this is kind of be useful when you're trying to group shots or organize things and all of that so I could do that and I say SM group 2 and that should create that one and then you could drag it again on your level so another item that you could convert into a static mesh is the blueprint so if I go to my third person here and go drag that blueprint actor in the level here you could do the same you could select the actor convert to static mesh so any actors in the level basically you could convert them to a, um, a static mesh another useful one is when you have a particular gameplay happening and you want to capture a particular scene on that gameplay and create a static mesh out of that so let's try that so i have the um, story content here I'm just gonna start the story map i save everything and so let's do a play here so you can see those balls and cubes falling when you start the game so if you want to capture a particular uh shot from that you could hit play and potentially hit pause so i'll hit play and then pause and then i'm gonna hit f8 so now i could fly around here 
and I could select items uh, from here. So I could select this, this, I say I like the position of that one or that one. Just control shift click and do the same. So you say convert actor to static mesh. Now I have this captured during gameplay. I think I should name that props tree. And I could go back to my normal map here. Yep, escape the gameplay. Cool. And now I could drop that new mesh I created here. Cool. So pretty handy for creating static meshes. So simple, easy tip. Hope you like it. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Cheers. Bye for now.